Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your September 2021 astrology forecast. I'm Anisha. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to my channel on astrology and tarot. To know more about my work, you may visit my website tarotbyanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love life or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobayanisha at gmail.com. Sagittarians, we are starting September 2021 with a fabulous new moon that is set in your house of career and reputation. And we also have Sun and Mars over there. What a fabulous placement. So this is pointing towards your life mission, your position in society and your achievements. It's a time of accolades, Sagittarians. You could be getting a lot of attention. People are going to be praising you, talking about your wonderful work and all the hard work that you may have been putting. New moon is also a time wherein that we can plant a seed that can later on manifest for us whenever full moon happens in our own house. It's a time to be bringing a new chapter in your occupational story. It's also that something new will begin. And it's also a time to be starting a new project. It's a great time to be welcoming a new member in the family. And uh, this is a time uh, specifically in this house with the transit of new moon, sun and Mars over here that uh, our responsibility towards the society at large is something which gets enhanced. So it's really important that uh, we avail of all the opportunities that are given to us during this time as far as our work is concerned, as far as our reputation is concerned and how it is that we can really help the society at large, that we really step up to that. This is also a time wherein that uh, you can get a recognition for all the efforts that you put. It can also be that um, you can acquire a new status like maybe getting a promotion some of you could be changing a job you could be relocating you could be getting engaged marriage or even in some rare case depending as to how the planets are placed getting divorced we have venus that moves into your own house Sagittarians and that's a lovely placement you're going to be feeling good about yourself there's just a sense of enhanced self-esteem you're going to be maybe doing a complete wardrobe change you could be really involved in even positioning yourself out in the market you could be making almost a brand of yourself you would want to get written you could be socializing you could be networking you would want to be the center of attention as far as the social network is concerned on the 15th, we have Mars that moves into your house of groups of friends, people who are your tribe, and it is joining Mercury over there. And Mars is all about action. Mars, uh, Mars doesn't like to talk, negotiate. It just wants to do. So it is possible that mid-month sees you networking aggressively. You're going to be hustling hard, Sagittarians. You're going to be negotiating. You're going to be talking, whether it means speaking with clients, vendors, uh, potential customers, you could be networking, parting, uh, encouraging people to maybe buy your product and you're going to be really be at your element. This is also a time that the friends are also going to be quite kind in the sense that they're going to be reciprocating this energy and you could be dealing with people who are in who have similar goals or who could be equally ambitious as you are on the 20th we have a full moon that is set in your house of home and it is joining neptune over here and neptune carries on being here for the next couple of years as well so full moon in this house indicates that something is coming to an end as far as the home situation is concerned it can be that you're moving homes, you're maybe um, relocating, some of you are buying, selling, leasing. For some of you, you could simply be renovating your house, you could be uh, just be making it more beautiful. And because it's a house of cancer, it rules your mother. It can be that in certain cases, you are a little concerned about your mother's health. Maybe some of you are making, either moving in with your parents or you're creating a space at your home wherein your parents can come and stay with you. The only thing is that Neptune is here and Neptune tends to bring about some confusion, a little bit of chaos and that you can't see things very clearly. So it can be that you're slightly delusional about a home situation, that you're not looking at things at home the way that you should be. 
on the 23rd we have sun that moves into your house of groups of friends and this also speaks about uh, your dreams your desires things that you want to come true and it's really a very happy light-hearted and social energy and group affiliations are going to be capturing your attention most of the month and connections are uh, going to be made and your networking skills are really going to get paid off. Sun Transit is beautiful over here and being a part of a community or being a part of a uh, circle of friends and building your social network is really going to be very important to you at this point of time and it's a very happy goal oriented cycle and a lively agenda is promised for you Sagittarians and you're going to be attracting quite a bit of interest maybe the press is going to be writing about it maybe the social media is going to be a buzz about you and maybe you are going to be pushing and you're going to be ensuring that you are that you stay the center of attention and you stay relevant relationships also they take on a fun even if it's impersonal note during this time and activities with children can increase as well and you could be quite stimulated by all of this uh, unconventionality during this cycle end of the month we have a poor mercury which is going retrograde on the 25th and carries on being so till about 19th of october and it is doing so in your house of friends and your organization and people who are your tribe. So ensure uh, Sagittarians in the first half of the month, that is by the 20th, you finish doing all the networking, all the schmoozing, all the negotiations, being in the on the page three, in the parties, uh, hustling, all of that gets done till the 20th. Because once the retrograde starts happening, it's a quiet time. It's a time of research. It's a time of revisiting those certain decisions as far as friendships are concerned. For a lot of you, you will be reconnecting with your old friends and you could also bump into your maybe some exes unexpectedly. And this transit also at times indicates about almost a withdrawal from the social scene. It speaks about almost a, a need to uh, be by yourself it can speak about too much of social exhaustion if that's a thing that is there and uh, it can be at times when we have socialized a lot and you just want to sort of take a break and just hang up your boots you can expect some misunderstandings during the retrograde as well as far as friends are concerned so please be careful about the stuff that you repeat be extremely careful about the gossip that has been told to you with all good intention by a very good friend and not to be repeated please ensure that you just nip that in bud and you do not pass it around however good your in, um, intention may be because this is a month which can uh, gossip and rumors can literally create havoc as far as your friendships are concerned and um, mercury retrograde in this house it can often help us in discovering who really our friends are so you will find that friends who are absolutely add zero value to your life they just sort of melt away and you uh, it will come as a reminder that certain maybe old friends people you've not been in touch with or people whom you occasionally sort of just text or meet or bump into they are the ones with whom you really need to be nurturing your friendship the recapturing of the dream that once you had it's really the underlining um, current of the specific retrograde and also it's a time to be getting inspired for the future research work uh, is extremely important during this time so try and research in fact even the networks people that you want to really hang around with before you really uh, go and sort of bear your soul the keywords for the retrograde for you Sagittarians are to reconnect regroup reconvene and to reform it's been a pleasure speaking with you Sagittarians I'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching.